Hello, today we're going to be talking about the HI-1756 feeder controller module shown here. This feeder controller module has a load cell input in the front, which is this green connector, and easily plugs into the back of your control logics rack for plug-in use for your 1756 control logics applications. Back here we have a control logics PLC with our plug-in already inside of it controlling this feeder, which is sitting on a scale that you can't see. This is a vibratory feeder feeding into this bucket right here and a hopper with all the material we're going to feed. Here I have a computer showing you the RS logic screen that I program my PLC with and I'm going to operate it with during this demonstration. And up here there's a little mag area where I magnify the things I'm changing so you can see what I'm reading and you can see what I'm changing. So let's go ahead and do some tests on the HI-1756 feeder controller so you can see how it works. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the set point. Right now the set point is 200, which means 2 pounds per minute. If I go up here, I can take a look at my rate of change, which is 0 right now because it's not running, and my motor speed, which is 0 because it's not running. So let's go ahead and start the feeder. I'm going to start the feeder by writing a command to run. I am then going to come here, make sure my set point is what I want it to be, and then I'm going to show you my set point. This is my rate of change as is being measured. The number above it is my operating percentage or my motor speed percentage. As you can see, it will now take a few moments to settle on my initial run. The number is already stable. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my set point from 2 pounds per minute to 8 pounds per minute. So you can see how it reacts when we have to speed up. So I'm going to write a new set point. I'm going to write a command to initiate that new set point. And as you can see here, my rate of change is being measured and is now stabilizing even as I run at a much higher set point. My motor speed is likewise changing to suit that new set point. It settles pretty quickly as you can see. I'm going to change back to 2 pounds per minute so you can notice the change yourself once again. I'm going to change mine to 2 pounds per minute. I'm going to write a command to take that new percentage. And as I look at my display once again, it's settling down to 2 pounds per minute from 8, where it was previously. And my operating percentage is likewise stabilizing. It takes a few moments, and then it's stable. That's how set points change in the 1756 feeder controller. So now we're feeding at 2 pounds per minute. You can see that here in my, in my uh, set point menu. I'm feeding at 2 pounds per minute. So if I now look at my operating percentage and my rate of change, my rate of change is settled out at 2 pounds per minute. And my, rate, and my operating percentage is 26%. That's 20% of motor speed. I'm now going to demonstrate our rate exception control, also known as REC. If a technician is working in the area and accidentally happens to lean against the hopper while it's running, it will result in the rate of change to move erratically because of this disturbance. However, the operating percentage will remain stable and make up for this error, as seen here. It stabilizes fairly quickly. Would say the, the technician who's walking by is working on a piece of equipment and just happens to leave his toolbox carelessly on the hopper, which is on top of the scale. Normally, this disturbance would cause problems with your feeding. As you can see, the rate of change has changed because of the scale experiencing the disturbance from the toolbox. However, you'll notice the operating percentage is just fine. The motor speed of the motor hasn't changed very much at all. This sort of stability adds accuracy during all feeding operations. As you can see now, we're feeding at a pretty good rate. My rate's locked in at 8 pounds per minute, and my operating percentage is locked in pretty much at 61% of motor speed. We are now going to conduct a manual refill. So we're going to refill the feeder unexpectedly, but when we do so, the rate exception control will make refilling a breeze. So if one of the operators comes in to refill my hopper, as you can see, the rate of change will start to change because we have a disturbance on the scale. However, my output percentage will stabilize quickly and move very little bit. 
and move very little, thereby guaranteeing that my refill is smooth.